the Newport County Bumper is next. The Let's Chuck a Flat Sprinter in the National Hunt team and see if we can pick up a few wins. Race is Building Bridges at the top for Joshua Sutherland, Discovery Banker for Leon Van Rensburg, The Darker Order, Matt Cooper, Dramatised Paul Rhodes, First Date, David Hoody, Foxtail, Alex Cherry, Good Time Girl, Graham Clutterbuck, and Quadrant for Paul Rhodes. A field of eight. The rain is coming down and called in and away. No hurdles, no fences. National Hunt Flat Race and Building Bridges in the lead. As they come past the big screen. And past the winning post. I thought there'd be a bigger field at this this week because there's only one four-year-old race, isn't there? So maybe people are being generous and giving their four-year-olds a week off. Or maybe they've stuck them in some open handicaps. Or maybe they've all put two in the four-year-old hurdle race. I haven't had that yet. I haven't seen it, so maybe there's 28 runners in the four-year-old hurdle this week. I don't know. But anyway, the Dark Order is in the lead. For those of you that don't know, the National Hunt Flat Race is open to novices. Which means four, if you upload not a four-year-old, you have to make him a novice because there's no point having one in. If you don't, because all the four-year-old races are novice and they... Don't qualify for many open races at all. So it's basically for four, these national flat races are for four year olds and novices. So if you've got a novice that's not doing a lot of good, you can chuck him in these. But if he's a three miler, he's probably not going to do that much good in these either. So I think one or two people, I don't know if they still do, they used to anyway, back in SO6 days, would put their a sprinter that didn't qualify for the flat team in this because six furlong sprinters tend to turn into two mile um national flat race horses but that doesn't work the same on so 7 it's not quite been the same at all it seems to be a little bit different in the way that the horses are coded or made up or, 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 or whatever because it doesn't necessarily follow suit now that you're Six furlong sprinter is going to make a two mile National Hunt flat horse. Which I suppose is making it a bit more open, but still, to me, a bit of a pointless division there's no handicapping in it or anything. Anyway, the Dark Order's in the lead. From Building Bridges, second, first, Date is third, Quadrant is fourth, then Dramatised, Discovery Bank, and Good Time Girl, and Foxtail. You've got a situation where you got one that was really, really good at these. He would probably win every week. I don't think we've had that for the last few seasons, so that's probably a good thing. Quadrant has gone into the lead then net. Um, building Bridges in second, the Dark Order is third, then first date. With Dramatised and Good Time Girl trying to get into it. Three and a half furlongs still to go. And the leader seems to be travelling pretty smoothly. The rest of them are being pushed along. But he's holding on in the lead at the moment. But now Good Time Girl comes up on the outside. And has taken it up. Quadrant tries to fight back. Building Bridges on the inside. Then first date and dramatised. Discovery Banker trying to get going. There's still two furlongs to go. So plenty of racing still to do. They're racing downhill. And Good Time Girl is in the lead from Quadrant and first date. Good Time Girl in front. First date is getting closer. Quadrant under pressure. Discovery Banker's not picking up. Neither is Building Bridges or dramatised. And at that moment, Good Time Girl's hanging on with half a furlong to go. And Good Time Girl looks like he's got to hang on and take it. Well, she's got to hang on and take it. Good Time Girl wins it for Graham Clutterbuck. First date, second, dramatised third, then Quadrant and Building Bridges after that one. And one of the loudest voices for keeping the National Hunt Flat Races wins another one. Good Time Girl for Graham Clutterbuck is the winner. First date for David Hooley, second. Quadrant third for Paul Rhodes, Building Bridges fourth for Joshua Sutherland and Discovery Banker for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth and well done Gray for putting your four-year-old in there. That was a bit of forward thinking. I was surprised more people didn't put a four-year-old in that race this week.